Okay, Mr. DJ back putting up some videos for my 70s YouTube channel, Billboard's Hot 100. Outsourcing Billboard's Hot 100, picking out the Lost 45s, many of them that didn't make top 40, but were played in some markets across the nation. And if I remember correctly, WSGN in Birmingham played this one, Cold Blood, the name of the group, You Got Me Humming. This did not make top 40, but I tell you, Lyd Lyd Lydia, I think it's L-Y-D-I-A, Lydia Pence, the woman at soul. Kind of like Gail McCormick, the lead singer of Smith, who came out with Baby It's You just a few months before. But she's been compared to Aretha Franklin, Tina Marie, and Janis Joplin. The group formed, Go Plud, they're from San Francisco. They combined soul, jazz, a little bit of acid rock. Sprinkled into the mix, uh, formed by a guy named Larry Field in San Francisco back in 1968. Lydia Pence became the lead singer. Lydia Pence started singing. She was she was in a band by the time she was 14 years old. A band called Dimension. She was singing like Brenda Lee, but the other group members saw some soulful potential in Lydia Pence or Lydia Pence. And they encouraged her to sing along the lines, or kind of like James Brown, Ray Charles, Aretha. And indeed, it was Janis Joplin who referred Cold Blood to a rock promoter, a big rock promoter. Named, his name was Bill Graham. He signed them after they did an audition for Bill Graham. He signed them back in 1969. And they're often compared to another band from San Francisco called Tower of Power because they used a lot of horns. They had a horn section in their band. But uh, I think Tower of Power is more of a soul band than, say, a soul, jazz, rock and roll band. But the analogy is still pretty apt. Well, it went to, uh, I believe it went as high as number 52. That's what I got on my notes. It dropped to 66, though, the week of February 21st, 1970. Six weeks on Billboard's Hot 100. This is Cold Blood featuring Lydia, or Lydia Pence on lead vocals. You got me humming.